Welcome to part 2 out of 2 of my Attack on Titans art piece. Today I'm going to break down how I did the character and the background of this piece and what I did to improve on it. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment and subscribe. Drawing's gone well, but there's a lot of things I'd like to improve from it. So like the character, I do believe I should have improved the character and done a lot more with it. So for example, doing more colouring and shading with watercolour on a character, because um, I didn't really practice it that much. The prerequisites I had for this drawing was um, understanding the angles of a character and doing about a couple of minutes of anatomy, just like absolute spitting doubt and, and brainstorming ideas. And the other one was under doing more cartoony comic drawings that I've done in the past, which I'll pop up here. And also Traria drawings like this, so all the ones on the wall here, doing more colouring for that. Even though it's not particularly a character from a different anime, it's still quite similar. But from the details on the character, like um, the jeans and the shirt and everything went particularly well of how I wanted to. But I was experimenting with watercolour and pencil, and I think for next time I'd like to go to more acrylic, or even just make the character a lot bigger so it's easier to trade in and make the face more detailed. But I can kind of get away with not having to make the character as much detailed because it is smaller. And the design looks quite different on this one because it looks like I've kind of snippeted the character I've drawn from the shading into the photo and I kind of like that because it's a bit different so I've got like a shaded pencil part in with a colour in to make sure that the main character is properly like zoomed in and focused on but that was the idea anyway. But with watercolour, I haven't done watercolour that much so I really enjoyed uh, messing about with it and indulging more in watercolour. I was fine with the buildings, how the buildings turned out, because I've done a lot of watercolour and shading in the past. I'll pop these drones up now. So, I've done all these ones um, from school GCSEs, and they've gone, they've gone well how I wanted it, so I was confident with that. And it's been a while since I've done, like, colouring in characters. I'm a bit annoyed with the face and the turnout, but I took about half an hour to an hour to try and change it, but it, it, I couldn't improve it as much as I wanted to. In conclusion, I think this drawing has gone very well. But I would have liked to improve some aspects of the character and trying to get like more detail into it. So more shading with the markers and the pencils and the colouring pencils. And then I would have I would have definitely done more more with the background or detailed it, but I'm happy with the turnout as of now. Just means I've got to do more and more of it because I can't get the perfect one straight away. So hopefully next drawing I do it to similar to that, I'll be able to get them tweaks and improvements. I really hope you enjoyed this video, it's definitely a shorter one, but I really wanted to like make it more interesting for you lot to see what you enjoy. And if you do enjoy the videos, just comment down below, because I just want to know if you want to see this type of content still. Because if not, I'll just carry on doing parkour videos. I enjoy Neve it a lot, but it, it depends what you guys are looking for and wanting from me, you know what I mean?